Hi there, I'm Heidi and welcome to week two of Happy Hips for the Holidays. If you missed week one, go ahead and check it out above. It's right there for you and then you can come back and join us here or vice versa. Finish this workout with me and then you can go back and do week one. Why not? So as promised last week, we're gonna get into the gluteus maximus, the hamstring, and the inner thigh. So that whole back chain. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Now, if you weren't with me last week, I did say that this workout series is for all levels. Of course it is. So I'm going to offer you different variations in terms of body placement. So my friends who would like to be on all fours and it's fine for you, you're going to come into an all fours position. Hand and all fours position. Hands are going to be right under those shoulders, knees under your hips. Spine is neutral. Now, if you want more range of motion for your legs or maybe your wrists do not like this position, you can definitely come down to your forearms. I like to make a fist with one hand, wrap my other hand around, make a nice little tripod here, just making sure the elbows are under the shoulders. That's another option for you. If you wanna be more in line, you can even go as far as grabbing a couch and bringing yourself here as well. Whatever works for you. Yes? So let's get this party started. I am gonna come down to my all fours position. So you choose what works for you. We're here, all fours. I'm gonna stay nice and square here, co-contracting my abs and back, working together here. All I want you to do is send one leg straight back behind you. You're gonna flex through that heel and imagine that hamstring and glute squeezing together and then bring it right back in. Again, so you reach it back you bring it in. We're gonna do about eight to 10 here. So remember, if it gets wristy, just bring it down to your forearms. I know sometimes I do. Do what works for you, yes? We have four more, and we have three. Last two. On your last one, hold right here. So you're pushing through that heel, hips are square. You're just gonna tap the toe down and bring it up. Tap it down, bring it up. Now as you're doing this, you're keeping that pelvis really quiet. So you're being very aware that you're not lifting from your back, right? Right where that hamstring meets your booty, right? That smile muscle that people may call it, right? We're lifting up here. Last three, last two, right where that butt meets your thigh. Last one, hold it right here. Stay here, keep pushing out of those hands, keep pushing out of your forearms. You're gonna take that foot across the midline, inner thigh, and return. So upper inner thigh is gonna pull the foot across that midline, across, yes? We reach across the midline. Let's do four more. We reach for three. Last two. Now on your last one, keep it across, hold it there. Yes, from there, tiny circles. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one other direction for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, hold it. Come back to center, don't hate me, we're still here, hold. You're gonna drag the heel to your bottom, point the toe, reach it away. Uh, again, we pull the heel to the bottom, we point and reach. So we're using that hamstring to draw the heel towards your booty. Yes, let's do four more. We're almost done. Three, we have one more variation. What? Last two. We're gonna get right into that glute. Final one, hold right here. Like you're holding a tray of eggnog on your foot. I don't know. Pick your favorite, favorite beverage. Here we go. Lift, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh heck, let's make it another even 10. One, and relax, that was mean, huh? Sit it back, give yourself a moment, relax your wrists. Yes, 
Whichever leg you started on first, yes? Let's take the hands to the opposite side. So I worked my right leg, so I'm gonna take my hands to the left. Yes, my right hand is gonna be on my left hand. Give it a little stretch here. Woo! All right. We have the other side to do. So what I'm gonna do, you don't have to do anything. I'm just gonna flip around. Yes, yeah, so you can see my body placement. We're here. Do you like my leggings, by the way? They're more festive. <laughs> so we're here. We're in a long line here from head to tail. I'm gonna make sure I'm far enough away from my baby tree. But we're here, we're gonna send that leg straight back, reaching through the heel and bring it back in. Yes. So as I'm reaching, the rest of my body is rock solid. Yes. It's like the leg is literally separate from the rest of the body. Yeah. And as you're reaching through the heel, remember, you're trying to connect where that butt meets the thigh. Yes. Two more. On your last one, hold it out right here. Stay here. Keep pushing the mat away. Drop the toe down and lift it up. So as you're doing this, I want you to imagine you're trying to reach the bottom of that foot, the bottom of that foot beyond your mat. Yeah, reach away. We have four more and three. I'm guesstimating on reps again. Last two, about eight to 10. Hold it here on one. Inner thigh, upper inner thigh, crosses the leg over the midline, bring it back. Again, reach it over the midline, we bring it back. So as we're moving that leg across the midline, the hips stay really square. The rest of the body is really quiet. We're just focusing on what that leg is doing. Yes, three more. We have two. Last one, hold it across here, oh my goodness. Tiny circles, we have eight, oh my goodness. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other direction for eight, seven, six. I don't even know if I changed direction. My left leg cannot think. Last two, one, hold it there. Now bring it back underneath that hip, hold it. It's a burn and I know. You're gonna drag the heel to your bottom. Point the toe, reach it away. Again, flex and pull, point and reach. Flex and pull, point and reach. So as you're doing this, you're attempting to keep that thigh as parallel to the floor as you can. If you're getting tired in that upper body, push the mat away, we're almost done. Two more, and reach. Last one, find that tray of your favorite beverage, hold it there, press it up. We have 10, nine, you can do it, eight. Seven, it's almost over. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Nice, press it back. Nice little child's pose, round it out. Woo! Take a moment, take the hands off to the opposite side. Remember, the leg that you are working, take that same side hand on top, sit into that same heel, breathe it out. Stretch it out. How was that? That was fun, huh? Woo! Yes! Lovely. So, as I stated in the first video, this is a four-part series. So next week, join me for part three as we go into a standing series, working the hip flexors and a little bit more outer thigh and even the hip extensor. So we're gonna work all the way around the hip. I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you liked this video. Give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video drops. And in the meantime, come join me on Instagram. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>